from my friends. It's just a day of love. Wanted to touch base with y'all. It's been a minute. Tonight, we are going to talk about trusting yourself, about listening to your intuition, and what possibly can happen if you actually decide to go with what you actually feel. This experience has been pretty incredible for me because should I not have trusted myself, then I wouldn't have been here. I started to learn how to listen to the universe, learn how to hear the signals, the signs, learn how God communicated, how the universe communicated, and all the subtleties, and started to basically get smart about it, use strategy and follow the patterns, and my intuition. So as I let my intuition and the patterns and my smarts guide me, I was led to many, uh, many breadcrumbs that genuinely led me down the path, the exact path, to the exact person, to the exact circumstance that I needed to be led down. So, working through this journey and listening to my intuition, you know, um, dealing with the physicality that I've been managing with this goofy diagnosis of lupus and fibromyalgia and allowing my body to release the energy from all these things. If I wouldn't have listened to my intuition and gotten off those stupid pharmaceuticals, then I would have never been able to hear what my body was trying to speak to me and say. So as I got off the pharmaceuticals, started to use natural remedies, plant medicine, and allow my body to rejuvenate, to compensate, to enter homeostasis and start the self-reparation process. And I started to listen to that. And it's taken time. It's actually taken genuine time, like years, a couple years. And it has not been an easy process. It has not been a quick process, but it has been a journey. And the intuition that I allow spirit to come into my space, I invite into my space to lead me, guide me, show me what is next with my physicality, with my emotional body, with actually what's happening, with the energies that I'm being presented with, just by listening, just by allowing that presence of my intuition, allowing spirit, allowing the universe a little bit of space and room to speak in my life. You know, we like to think we know what we're supposed to do, but most of the time we're wrong learned that thinking is not necessarily the thing, it's feeling that's the thing. And I was so into heavy into the 3D world as we have to be because we live here. We have to deal with the physicality of what's happening here and paying mortgage and having children and being married and the real actual issues of the 3D world. Managing through those things, listening to those things and allowing our spiritual self come into play. I realized how much I'd shut myself off to my intuition and how I started just thinking and I stopped feeling. Like think about that just for a moment. We think, 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 but I let my thinking control the game for some time. So I had to take that pattern off of me and it is just, it's absolutely taken me time and it's been a total pain in the ass for me and probably many people around me because it's, it's been a heavy pattern on me. So to undo the thinking the processing, all this stuff happening up here. Mm. She likes to process up in here. You guys like to think too much? I know I overthink or I tend to overthink. Working myself out of that space. Working on the feeling, the processing, the intuition. Allowing spirit to speak to me, through me, with me. Show me what it is that I have not been seeing. As I'm learning to process more to feel more, to love, to step into my heart space. Cause it's been a damn minute. Y'all shut your heart down too? I know the 3D world has taught me really well on how to shut my heart down and to not listen to my intuition and make me think that I'm crazy for thinking that my intuition was something. I used to even be called a witch by my ex-husband and people would just tell me, oh, you think you know things? Well, hell yeah, I do know things, so we do know things so do you too so you got to go sharpen those skills like i did learn how to hear your intuition cleanse your life out cleanse your spiritual self out cleanse your emotional body out and allow your life to present to you the most beautiful form of what it is that we're supposed to be seeing and hearing 
processing, transmuting, channeling, and what it is that we're here for. Because our intuition will show us what is next. Our intuition will guide us into the next right step. It's not even, I don't wanna say it's not hard because it is hard. It's not, uh, we don't have to think so much about it. We have to flow with it and allow it. So as we allow ourselves to feel again and to stop thinking and processing so much of what we think is supposed to happen, allow the journey just to take us, allow us to feel, allow us to emote, allow us to be in the space that we're in, allow us to be present. Let's just stop right there for a moment because being present, most people don't know how to do that. Be in present. So finding what the present is in the present moment. The universe will show us everything in the present. It's a pretty amazing thing. It's like our intuition will always speak to us, through us, for us. Tell us everything that's next. So will the present moment. It will always give us the next right step. So should we learn to get present? Stop worrying so much, being so fearful and angst-ridden and so worried about everything. Get in the present moment, come on. Come on here with me. Come back to the present moment. Find out what Spirit's trying to say to you. Listen to that intuition. Feel a little bit, stop thinking so much. That processing, allow the good processing to happen, but allow it to run through your body so your intuition can guide you into and through that space. I know this is probably enough for all of y'all. This is a normal daily routine for me to live in this space, but I know it does take some time. So process with me, journey with me, hang with me. And I appreciate y'all listening. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pass this on to somebody you know could use a good word on the wake up call using their intuition, listen to spirit, breaking down those barriers, coming into this heart space and allowing ourselves to be present in this space. Head to my website at drealove.com, blog, vlog, podcasts, socials, resources, learning, and so much more. Love y'all.